Well, I mean, it is one of the major storylines that we uh, have. I, I can't even say like conclusive news because who the hell knows with this franchise? Yeah. Conclusive news really on this story that we've been waiting for conclusive news for yeah. 20 plus years. Um, 20 plus. 20 yeah, plus. The arena and the fate of hockey, NHL hockey anyway in Arizona, really uh, the fate of hockey in Arizona because the Coyotes matter to the rest of the levels of hockey in Arizona. We're, we're going to find out something again. And I, I hope he says it at that news conference so that yeah. everybody can hear it in the back row. The all-star game, the all-star break is not a deadline. We've been saying it on the show so many times we've updated it initially. Yes. The all-star break was the deadline, but we updated that. And we said it so many times. Again, I joke with you guys that we can have a mashup of all the times we've said it on the show. Quarter one, quarter one, that is the deadline we've heard. Can deadlines change? They absolutely can change. A lot of factors go into creating deadlines. So yes, they can change, but we're not at the, we're not at D-Day yet. We're not there yet. I hope Gary addresses this with some substance to let people know what's happening here on the ground, but for better or for worse, an answer is coming soon on this. Yeah. And I think, yeah, I waver back and forth on all well, I'm, I'm overly optimistic and this is going to be fine and they were never going to let a team leave. And, and Gary Bettman's put his neck out on this franchise several times and it's going to stay. And I've, I, I've swing there. And then this is the first time in a long time that, I, that I've, I've started to be become concerned and it's just because it's taking so long and it's so quiet and the steps that need to be taken to secure the land that they're talking about securing. And again, that's all rumored. Maybe this is going to pop yeah. up and, and on Monday they go, Hey, we're building in Mesa. I, and that could be, it honestly could be, but the, the line, the land that they're speculating is state land. And there's so many hoops to get through to get that to happen. So that's where my concern is. If that was the land that they're actually talking about, I would like to see that process further down the road than it actually is. Sure. But remember, like, I, I don't believe plan B is relocation. Yeah, I, believe, I agree with that. Still. I believe relocation. And Gary has said this himself. Relocation is the absolute last resort. If the Morellos can't secure something, I still think they're going to pursue local buyers before they pursue relocation. I still think Salt Lake City is, in fact, an expansion market. But if you can't, if you, if you can't secure it for, and it's not like it's simple to say, hey, Matt Ishbia, buy the, the Coyotes or some other local buyer, buy the Coyotes. It's not that simple. There are a lot of issues and roadblocks in the way of that happening. Keep that all in mind. But I do think that the league, should the Morellos not be able to come up with a solution, and I'm not even saying that can't happen yet, but if they can't find a solution that satisfies the league and satisfies that timeline, I do still think that they will pursue every avenue for a local buyer to keep the team in the market before they go to the nuclear plan of relocating this team to another city.